but what's interesting to your point about small scale, um, you know, and, and regular Russians, entrepreneurs, right? Because there's a, there's a huge amount of, of middle class, right? That, that might want to leave the country or might be stuck outside of the country. So I was doing some reporting, for example, in Indonesia, you have a lot of Russians stuck there and what the way they're trying to get at their money is using crypto, which I don't think yeah. we foresaw when we talked last year. So can we talk about like the use by the mainstream retail and, um, you know, not even investor, right? Because they're just trying to get their money back. Um, you know, we yeah. talked a lot about last year that it can't be a currency, but people are really trying to use it to get currency. We've actually seen this for years in Iran, where there are small businessmen, you know, rug merchants who want to import and export their products. Iran has been cut off of the SWIFT network you know, for decades. But if you're just a small businessman or you know, member of the middle class, not part of the political establishment, maybe we don't want the sanctions to impact you. you know, and we've had a lot of discussion about Russia. Is it just Putin who we're trying to crush or is it all the working families, you know, all the business people who are probably not a supporter of any of what's going on. And with crypto, you can really, um, on a small scale, use this as an alternative. In fact, it's probably simpler for many of these folks than using the SWIFT network, even if it were enabled and legal because it's quicker and cheaper. Yeah. And you, you, know, you have an interesting market there that has both uh, you know, political arguments on both sides of whether you would wish this to, to be allowed. But I think these are not people that governments will take the time to track down. They're just, you know, a very small fish in a bigger pond. They're they're more interested in the political leadership, the billionaires who are behind the big defense companies, and so forth. 